Right here we have one that's already pre-made. It is a welded frame. Sometimes you might see them to the point where it is a bent frame. All around, same concept. This is an inch and three eighths frame. We're gonna hang it on this two and three eighths post. So our hardware needs to be inch and three eighths gate frame hinges, and then we need two and three eighths post hinges. Here is our inch and three eighths gate frame hinges. What we're gonna do is they're gonna slide over like so. That's gonna go into the gate, that's gonna go on the post. We're gonna start with the gate, undo the nut, pull out the bolt. We're gonna throw that. The bolts on this hinge are 3 8 so our nuts are 9 16 We're gonna use a 9 16 deep set socket on a quarter inch DeWalt impact. If you don't have that, you can use a drill. You can use a wrench or you can use a ratchet and a socket. Now that bottom one, we put it on and snugged it up so it'll stay in place. This top one, we're gonna put it on and we're gonna let it just go ahead and kinda let it be loose. Now we're gonna go ahead and bring our gate over here. Put one hinge on the very bottom, same kind of bolts. And we're gonna snug it up just a little bit, not overly tight yet because we still wanna be able to adjust it and slide it up and down. Before we get ready to put the gate on there, if you notice, we have these pins, they're facing each other. There's a reason behind that. If you have them both facing up and up, somebody can come through if your gate is locked and lift it off the hinges and then pass through your opening. You don't want that. If your hinges are pointing up and up, reverse them. Bottom up, top down. Lock that gate so nobody can lift it off its hinges. Now we're gonna go ahead and set on top of our bottom hinge. We want our top rails to match so we just wanna go ahead and tap this. We're gonna go ahead and tighten these two top hinges. Snug those down. If you look down from the top, you wanna to make sure that your hinges are all in the line and they're nice and straight. If you're happy with everything, go ahead and suck your hinges down. Make sure your gate works. It needs to be able to latch into this post. So we're not quite done just yet. This is our latch and it came in three pieces. Flip two pieces just like that. Put a bolt through. And the nut needs to go to the inside of the gate to the secure side. And then our fork is gonna get rotated just like that. My hands are kind of in the way. The tighter you pinch the, the two clamps, the harder it's gonna be to open that fork. So you can pinch the back clamp quite a bit, but leave just a little bit of room in between that front fork so that way, so that, way that fork will slide nice and easy. Down here, it gives you a nice little spot so you can put a padlock or a carabiner on it so you can keep your dogs or kids in the yard. And it latches just right into the post. Throw a couple caps on it and take back your weekends. Why did we not hinge the gate off of this post and why did we hinge it off that post? You don't ever want to hang your gate off of a single post if you can help it. Because what's going to happen over time is the weight of that gate is going to pull that post over causing it to lean or sag. This chain link is helping support this gate. The pressure of the chain link it's pulling the post that way more than the gate is pulling the post this way. That was so easy, it was painless. Now you know how to hang a chain link gate, and I hope it helps. And if you're curious at all how to set your posts in a nice long straight line, make sure and see this video right here. Stand with SWI. We are Wyoming's Fence Company, and you have a good dang day.